Welcome to my channel. I want to add my voice to this video of Abel Damina that says it is only in Africa that wishes and wizard stops people from making progress. That is truth. That is a fact because almost everyone around me believe that there are powers from our father's house, from mother's house, from everywhere that doesn't let them to succeed. But when you look into their life, they are doing contrary thing to success. They are doing things that are contrary to making it in life. Mm. It's a surprise. And when you want to tell them this fact, they argue you. They quote scriptures for you. And they still stay in one place. Listen to this video carefully. Watch it to the end and drop your comment. It's only in Africa that when you are poor, you blame curses. You blame witches and wizards. Instead of taking responsibility to develop a new set of skills. There was a man called Cain. He was the first man that was cursed in the Bible. Genesis chapter 4 verse 11. Let me show you what a man under the curse accomplished without blaming his witches, witches in the village. And now I thou curse from the earth, which had opened her mouth to receive the, thy brother's blood from thy hand. Now observe, God is not cursing him, but God is informing him of his condition. Because of what you have done, you are under a cause. God is informing. This is informative, not causative. Thou art cursed. He didn't say, I have caused you. He said, Thou art cursed from the earth, which had opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Now read on. Next verse. Pay attention. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. Next verse. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Next verse. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth. And from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. Next verse. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord said a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. Next verse. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in a land of Nod on the east of Eden. Next verse. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch under the cause he had started mass producing children. And he builded a city. A man is under a cause. A man is away from the presence of God, but he's building a city. You, your own, is witches in the village. You are in Christ and you are still complaining about witches. You are in Christ and you are still complaining about things they have done that is stopping you. This is a man under a curse and a man that has left the presence of God. He is producing children. The witches didn't, the cause didn't block his wife from having children. And he has built a city, not a village. other nations of the earth where they don't even know God they don't believe in God they have technological advancement that will shock you go to places like Dubai and see what men without Christ are achieving you have Christ look at what you are achieving yet God makes the sun to shine on the good and on the bad so who is to blame he makes the rain to fall on the evil and on the righteous it's not God's fault. It's not the fault of any witch or wizard. You need to take responsibility for your life. I'm teaching good. Somebody says to me, well, Dr. Damina, everywhere I have I've applied, I've never gotten a good job. And even when I get a job, I'm not able to maintain the job. Two things. Number one, check your skill sets. Number two, check your character. You have a character problem. That's why you can't maintain a job. Your character stings. You need to do some character adjustment. That's why people can't tolerate you. You cannot be tolerated. You, are, you, you, you can't maintain a job because you have a problem with your behavior. You have a problem with your temperament. And you have your, a problem with your attitude. Because attitude is everything. I'm teaching good this morning. Don't use prayer to cover up for what you're supposed to do. No matter how you pray, God will not come to your house and cook your food. 
No matter how hard you pray, God will not come to your house and sweep your house. No matter how hard you pray, God will not come to your house and sew your clothes for you. If you don't know how to cook, you don't know how to cook. And you don't need prayer to learn how to cook. You just need to humble yourself when there's somebody who knows how to cook to teach you. Even if the person is slapping you, take the slap and learn how to cook. It's better to be slapped than to not know how to cook. I'm teaching good here. I'm solving many problems. We pray for things we ought not to pray for. And then at the end of the day, we say, God, does he answer prayer? Why will there be an answer for what prayer should not handle? God, oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Come down from where? Which tree did he climb? He said, I will live in you. I will dwell in you. I will walk in you. I will be your God. You will be my sons and daughters. Where is he coming down from? I'm teaching good. 